And back to your question about stress, I mean, some stress is good. Not all stress is bad, right? It motivates us. It makes us do stuff. It makes us productive. But the stress that I'm talking about is where we put more exertion. We have, it's almost like you run a car on empty. Like we do that more often than we refill the tank. And I think when that math is happening over and over again, that's a setup for disease. So even for that mom who is so stressed, like one of the things like we want to try really hard is like, where can she let go of stuff? Is there an opportunity anywhere to let go, to ask for help, to have like two to three hours a week to herself, 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night to herself? Is there, is there any way for her to create that within the structure of her day and, and caring for these people? Cause it's almost like, it's almost like showtime, right? When the lights go on and the kids oh, yeah. are up, you're on. Oh, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah wear makeup, let's go, you know? So, I mean, so what What can she do? Except without like, the hair and makeup. I was like, <laughs> the hair and makeup. I'm like, I'm hair like, and makeup. <laughs> nice metaphor, but not really. Skip right over that one <laughs> for 10 years. That was too close to the show stuff there. But anyhow, but, you know what? You get the idea, right? Yeah. Yes, of course. It's, like, it's literally like you're on and, and you don't stop until everyone's back in bed again. And then you're on again. You know, so, so where, where can she build a little bit of breathing room in that time? <sighs> and the other things that mothers in particular do is, and I see this in the practice all the time, is that everybody will come through the practice, right? The kids will come mm. through, the grandmother comes through, the husband comes through, guess who makes their appointment last? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, and so their appointments are put on pause, their healthcare needs are put on pause. So just remembering that they shouldn't be last when they're leading the family, you know, they really should be first. <laughs> like how many moms listening to this right now have, have gotten their kids, their yearly dental checkups during COVID, but have not been to the dentist. <laughs> Exactly. Guilty. Like, guilty, right? <laughs> Completely like, guilty. That's like the first thing I think of is yeah. like, yeah, no, 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 not me, not me. 